All right, in this video, we're gonna go over what to do if things don't go perfect, all right? In the last video, everything was went pretty smooth, every angle I did, I mean, it's because I've done this, I kinda know what I was doing, but I wanna show you if things don't go perfect. All right, so just like the other video, we're gonna go and we're gonna check the retracted angle first, all right? So we're gonna hold the tab up, we're gonna take our spacer, and we're going to put it underneath here. Right. So this is what I want to talk about, the pinholes on the lower mount. This is why this is, we need to go over this. Right now, the pinhole, I have it in the top center hole. If you notice, when I have a spacer underneath here, no matter where I move the spacer, that lower mount is almost touching the hinge. That's, I know that's not good, right? I can take the spacer and I can roll it on it like this, and I can get me close to that inch and a half range. I'm in there somewhere, right? I'm in that inch and a half range somewhere. And I can hold this up just like this and I can check my angle finder app right here. I'm gonna calibrate it on the bottom of the boat and then I'm gonna move it to the tab and I've only got 12 degrees of up angle. Well, that's not enough. I need a minimum of 18, preferably touching the swim platform. So, to do that, there's a couple things I can do. One, I can move this spacer forward or down like this to get me more up angle, but that's not gonna work because now my upper mounting bracket's touching my hinge. So the only other thing I can do now is I need to move the slower mounting bracket back, okay? So, or not the, just the pin, not the whole bracket. All right, so I'm gonna slide this pin out. All right, I could go to this hole. I could go back one and down one, all right? So let's check it again. Now we're gonna put, put everything up here. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm getting closer to that one inch mark, but I'm not there yet. I'm only, that's probably only a half to three quarters. I can rotate this up to get me there, okay? That's pretty close, that's a pretty good area. So I, let me check that again here with my angle finder. And put it on the imaginary bottom of the boat. We're gonna calibrate it, hold it on the tab. That gets me to about 21 degrees. All right, now, that is an acceptable number, 21 degrees. Now what I wanna do now, now that I've found an acceptable number, 21 degrees, I'm gonna trace this line right here. This upper mounting bracket where it's at. Just put a line over the top so I know where that is. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I wanna check it to floor. So I'm gonna fully extend the tab. 50-50 shot, I'm always wrong. Okay, all right, now I've got the mark up here. I'm gonna put this up and I'm gonna hold it right at that mark. A little bit of up pressure to hold that there. Right there. Make sure it doesn't move and just keep an eye on it while you're checking this. Now we're gonna calibrate it on the imaginary bottom of the boat. And now I'm only deployed eight degrees. All right, that's probably not enough. All right, if you got a Malibu LSV 23, that's probably perfect but that's not enough. So what I would do here is I would take and I would start all the way over, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in this hole and I'm gonna raise this up. Yeah, I'll have to edit, I'll just edit this out, just keep it running. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fully Retract the tab, or the actuator. Okay. Now I know I didn't have enough deployed angle, but my retracted angle was good. So, I need more throw. To get more throw, I need to put the upper mounting bracket lower down towards the hinge. So, I can do one of two things. I can lower it down to there. 
by moving the spacer forward. And that gets me about an inch away. Um, so you could do that and just, just for this video, I'm gonna check it like this, just so you can see the difference. I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna trace it. I'm gonna trace it. Get a pen here. For this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trace this line a little bit lower. All right, and we're gonna check that. Cause I know, let's just assume that this is getting pretty close to the swim platform right here. All right, so there's that. Right, now I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check this retracted, or deployed, correction. I'm gonna check it deployed. That was retracted. there and that spot calibrated on the imaginary bottom of the boat now I'm at 12.6 degrees which is good okay so if that if that works that that's one way to do it too um, so let, there's another way you can do this too. So let's just say maybe your numbers didn't quite match up just like this one did because every boat's got a different rate to it at the back. There's one more thing we could have done. Um, so what I want to go over, I'm going to fully, we're going to start over again and pretend that this didn't work out that, that way because that, that worked. Ah. So, I'm going to change this pinhole to the back pinhole. Ah. Some boats, you, you may, this may not be far enough back. If, if, your, if your transom comes out and comes back towards you, the upper mounting bracket's going to be, you know, farther this way. You can take this lower mounting bracket and move it back, this set of holes right here. You move it back, and that gives you another set of pinholes that you can use. All right, so let's just say that last one didn't work, and now this is, I wanna get this tab up as high as I can get it, right? I want it almost touching the swim platform, okay? So there's that right there. So I use that mount there and I hold it right there, which gives me, I'm guessing that's 26 something. Twenty-five ish, 25 degrees. All right, let's just say that my swim platform comes out here, up here, and it's a, you know, a quarter inch away, that's, that's perfect. You're gonna trace, this area again, then you're gonna push that tab back out. I'm getting lucky, that's two times in a row. And then we're gonna put it right back where it was. Then we're gonna measure that angle and I'm guessing that's probably, looks, looks good, let's check it. It's kind of hard to check it on this. Um, that's about 8.79 degrees right there. So that, that's, that's a good number for, you know, for any boat too. Um, that's just a quick kind of in-depth how to do it. Um, using the spacer, always check the retracted position first. Try to get that thing almost touching the swim platform. As long as this gap is around an inch to an inch and a half, it's usually going to work out pretty good. It's just the geometry of the way it works. A um, couple boats like the X45 and the X30, um, they're a little bit different than this. And if I'm in you X45 and X30 guys, I'll make another little quick video for you guys after this one.